Hello friends, in today's session we are going to see the new chapter that is collection framework. Okay, so far we have completed 16 chapters, this is the 16th chapter. Okay, so we will start with the new one. This new chapter we will start with java.util. Okay. So, in the previous exam or previous session, we saw the java.lang package. Here we saw, see java.util package. It has classes that generate pseudo random numbers, manage date and time, observe events, manipulate sets of bits, tokenize strings, and handle formatted data. Okay. So, what are the tasks of uh, java.util? It handles, it generates pseudo random numbers, that is, random number generation. Date time management, uh, event handling, manipulate bit set, and tokenize string and handle the formatted data. The java.util package also contains one of the Java's most powerful subsystem that is the collection framework. And this is the main topic, this is the main motto of this session. The collection framework is sophisticated hierarchy of interfaces and classes that provide state of the art technology for managing groups of objects. Okay. What is the collection framework? It is a hierarchy of interfaces and classes that provide state of the art technology for managing groups of objects. It merits close attention by all programmers. Now, let's drop the classes of collection framework abstract collection, abstract list, abstract map, abstract queue, abstract sequential list, abstract set, array DQ added by Java 6. Then array list, array, bit set, calendar, collection, currency, uh, date, dictionary, enum map, enum set, event listener, proxy. Uh, then event object, formatable flags, formatter, Gregorian calendar, hash map, hash set, hash table, identity, hash map, link, hash map, link, hash set, link list, list resource bundle, local, observable, priority queue, properties, property permission, property resource bundle, random resource bundle, scanner, service loader, added by Java 6, simple time zone, stack, string tokenizer, timer, timer task, timer zone, tree map, tree set, UUID, then vector and weak hash map. These are all classes from java.util package and collection framework. Okay. Interfaces by java.util package are collection, Interface, comparatory interface, DQ interface by Java 6, enumeration interface, event listener interface, formatable iterator interface, list, list iterator map, map dot entry, navigable map, added by Java 6, navigable set, added by Java 6, observer, queue, random access set, sorted map, sorted set. Okay, then collection overview. The Java collection framework standardizes the way in which groups of objects are handled by your program. Okay. Group of object, collection of object, okay, collection of multiple objects are handled successfully by, <coughs> by your program. <coughs> and this collection framework is added by Java, Java to SE 1.2. Before Java 1.2, Java provided ad hoc classes such as dictionary, vector, stack and property to store and manipulate groups of objects. Okay, after 1.2, it introduced collection interface. Okay, now, although these classes were quite useful, they lacked a central unifying theme. Okay, so uh, the theme, that means the style to handle the group of objects were different for different classes, like for dictionary, for vector, stack, and property. Uh, unifying a central theme was different. The way that you use vector was different from the way that you use properties, for example. And this early ad hoc approach was not designed so be, to be ex easily extended or adapted. Okay. So, it was easy, not easy to understand. It was difficult to understand and learn, difficult to implement. Okay. And style for uh, remembering those methods for uh, handling group of objects was different for different, different classes. So, what was the goal? The framework had to be high performance. Okay. So, before uh, 1.2, whatever was introduced was not ex uh, giving the result as expected. So, what was the goal to be modified in that? First goal was framework had to be high performance. The implementation for the fundamental collection 
dynamic arrays linked list trees and hash table are highly efficient okay implementations for fundamental connection was highly efficient okay uh, so that if anybody can understand it anybody can use it and it was very easy to easy and efficient to use it you said um, if ever need to put one of these data in this manual the framework had to allow different type of collection to work in a similar manner okay no matter what you are doing what you are using whether you are using array list whether you are using linked list or whatever you are using the standard manner or standard way to use them should be the same okay and uh, for that purpose the goal was the framework had to allow different type of collection to work in a similar manner and with high degree of interoperability extending or adapting a collection had to be easy okay extending being cre means creating a subclass of the collection and adapting means to understand it and to learn it and to use it in your program had to be easy several standard implementations like linked list hash set and tree set of these interfaces are provided that you may use as is it is they are very uh, very easy to use it and very easy to understand as well you may also implement your own collection if you choose so how you will implement your own you will simply extend the collection various special purpose implementations are created for your convenience and some partial implementations are provided that may creating your own collections class easier okay various special purpose implementation means for each and every classes for linked list there is a special implementation for hash set there is a different implementation for your convenience okay so whenever you are going to use implement hash set you will simply use the hash set class when you are implementing linked list you will simply use the linked list inbuilt class and for, for your convenience some partial implementations are also provided that make creating your own collection class easier okay so simply you what you have to do is you have to simply extend the collection okay finally mechanisms were added that allow the integration of standard arrays into the collection framework algorithms are another important part of the collection mechanism okay algorithms operate on collections and are defined as static methods within the collections class thus they are available for all collections okay so algorithm for, uh, operate on what collection and they are implemented or defined as static methods within the collection class they are available for all collection each collection class need not implement its own version the algorithms provide a standard means for manipulating collection okay for every collection there uh, every collection class need not implement its own version iterator interface offers a general purpose standardized way of accessing the elements within a collection one at a time what is iterator it is a loop like in for loop what we are doing we are creating integer variable integer i is equal to 0 i less than 5 or 10 and i plus plus so each and every element should be easily accessible as a separate element one at a time so what is the iterator interface it is like a loop it is standardized way of accessing the elements within the collection one by one one at a time thus an iterator provides a means of enumerating the contents of the collection because each collection will implement iterator <coughs> the elements of any collection class can be accessed through the methods defined by the iterator okay each collection implements the iterator interface okay so the elements of any collection by it find by it find by iterator okay so methods will be same for all thus with only small changes the code that cycles through a set can also be used to cycle through a list for a example so iterator interface yeah is a one interface and it has uh, defined some set of methods and those will be implemented by your class whichever class that you are using that implements the iterator interface okay so mostly all of them implementing the iterator interface so that all of them must have to implement the iterator interface methods those are already used so what do you have to do whenever you are iterating list whenever you are iterating linked list you, are, you have to just do some small changes okay Several map interfaces and classes map store key value pair. 
although maps are part of the collection framework they are not collection indices for use of them use of term you can however obtain collection view of a map such a view contains the elements from the map stored in a collection thus you can process the contents of the map as a collection if you choose so collection view of map can be easily accessed and this view contains the elements from the map sort stored in a collection so all elements in a map are collection are stored as a group of objects in a collection thus you can process the contents of map as collection if you choose the collection mechanism was retrofitted to some of the original classes defined by java dot util so that they too could be integrated into the new system it is important to understand that although the addition of the collection altered the architecture of many of the original utility classes it did not cause the deprecation of any okay what is the, this this line telling about Al, although the addition of collection altered the architecture of many of the original utility classes it did not cause the deprecation of any so deprecated methods are not available collection simply provide a better way of doing several things to handle group of objects okay if you are familiar with c++ programming language then you will find it helpful to know that java collection technology is similar with standard template library by c++ what c++ calls a container we call it as a collection however there are significant differences between the collection frameworks and standard template library both are not equally identical though, though both are not exact copy okay so there is some significant differences recent ch changes to the collection changes in collections increase its power and streamline its use the changes were caused by the addition of generics auto boxing unboxing and for style of, of loop for loop for jdk 5 okay why we are creating changes because we added generics auto boxing unboxing and for each style for loop by java 5 okay so these changes we will see now one by one what changes were there where there generics fundamentally change the collection framework first is generics the addition of generics caused a significant change to collection framework because the entire collection framework has been re-engineered for it okay uh the way uh, the moment we it introduced the generics there was a need to change the collection framework entirely okay so in that case uh generics cause a significant change okay all collections are now generic and many of the methods that operate on collections take a generic type parameters Generics added type safety. Prior to generics, any collection could store any type of object. Okay. So, what added generics were added? Type safety. If you are going to uh, change, you are ca casting from one type to another uh, and another type to first type. Primitive type. It is very easy. Okay. And if the cast is not uh, allowed or if cast is not possible, it will give you the error. So, what generics added actually? type safety prior to generics any collection could store any type of object and what was not expected at all okay so now doing so called result in runtime type mismatch error <laughs> with generics it is possible to explicitly state the type of data being stored and runtime type mismatch errors can be avoided the collection framework still works the same as it did prior to generics okay However, if you are familiar with the pre-generic version of collection framework, you might find the new syntax a bit intimidating, okay? Uh, some uh, sort of collection framework still works the same as it did prior to generics, but you are if you are familiar with the pre-generic version, you might find, find the new syntax with add addition of generics a bit intimidating, okay? Don't worry, over time, generic syntax will become second nature if you practice and practice and practice okay that's why i am telling you again and again you should practice whatever we are learning in the theory part or practical part you should add your own uh, own java application you could create your own java program by your own question your uh, question will be yours program will be also your 
and main motto is your practice and after practice generic syntax will also become second nature to gain the advantage that generics bring collections older code will need to be rewritten because pre generics code will generate the warning messages when compiled by modern java compiler okay when you are using the current java compiler and you are running the pre generics code before 1.2 on whatever java 5 to eliminate this warning you will need to add type information to all your collection code so uh, they they will generate a warning messages and if you want to eliminate this warning you will need to add type information to all your collection code <clears throat> so for that purpose to avoid all these things pre generics code and after generics code what they did they completely entirely changed the collection framework so that any new one newbie will come and use the generic code and easily can iterate or easily uh, can access the collection framework auto boxing facilitates the use of primitive types auto boxing or unboxing facilitates the storing of primitive types in collection okay so what was new in uh, java auto boxing unboxing and because of them storing of primitive types was available or easier collection can store only references not primitive values in the past if you wanted to store primitive values such as integer in a collection you had to manually box it to its type wrapper and when the value was retrieved it needed to be manually unboxed by using it cast into its proper primitive type okay because of auto boxing unboxing java can automatically perform the proper boxing and unboxing needed when storing or retrieving primitive types okay when it, when it added auto boxing and unboxing java can automatically perform the, the proper boxing and unboxing needed when storing or retrieving primitive types there is no need to manually perform this operation okay this was the uh, second reason to change the collection table the for each type for loop this is the third reason collection can be recycled through by use of the for each style for loop in the past cycling through collection required the use of iterator interface with the programmer manually constructing the loop although iterators are still needed in many cases iterator with loop can be replaced by for each style for loop okay collection interface beginning with the collection interfaces is necessary because they determine the fundamental nature of the collection class okay why we are understanding interfaces first because interfaces must be implemented by all the classes so for that purpose you have to learn interfaces first what is the motto of that interface and which method it has so that whichever class is implementing that interface must be implementing those methods too for that purpose we have to understand interfaces first put differently the concrete classes simply provide different implementation of the standard interface the interfaces that underpin collection are summarized now collection interface enables you enables you to work with the groups of objects as it has the top of the collection hierarchy so what is the main interface collection interface dq extends q to handle double ended q added by java 6 list extends collection to handle sequences okay sequence of element navigable set extends sorted set to handle retrieval of elements based on closest match searches added by java 6 q extends collection to handle special types of list in which elements are removed only from the head extends collection set extends collection to handle sets which must contain unique element sorted set extend set to handle sorted set in addition to the collection interface uh, collections also use comparator random access iterator and list iterator interfaces which are described in depth later in this chapter briefly comparator defines how two objects are compared iterator and list iterator enumerate the objects within the collection and when you are implementing the random access interface a list indicates that it supports efficient random access to its elements okay so what are the interfaces collection use comparator random access iterator and list iterator okay so you have to remember this to provide the